Now let us discuss about rearrangement of improperly formed disulfide bonds. This is the protein with incorrect disulfide bonds. These are the disulfide bonds. The reduced PDI then catalyzes the rearrangement of improperly formed disulfide bonds. During the rearrangement reaction, electrons are transferred from the thiol group of reduced PDI to the disulfide of protein with incorrect disulfide bonds. The one and two steps of this reaction represents the sequential electron transfer. In the next step, the same electron transfer reaction is repeated. In the next step, due to the rearrangement of disulfide bonds, the protein with correct disulfide bonds is formed along with the release of a reduced PDI. Now question arises, why does this type of process generally occur? Because the proper pairing of cysteine is essential for the normal structure and activity of the protein. The rearrangement of improperly formed disulfide bonds also provides the thermodynamically most stable conformation to the substrate protein. This type of rearrangement of improperly formed disulfide bonds is found in proinsulin, which is considered as the precursor of insulin.